Hi there! In this video, we'll learn about the different ways to filter and sort our products in our shop's storefront, which our customers can then make use of. To start with, let's go to Content – Shopping Experiences. Here, we'll create a new layout and go with the listing page, as we want to create a product listing. We'll select Full Width, as we don't want a sidebar. Finally, we'll enter a name. We're going to be very creative and name it Test. The product listing layout already comes with the listing page element we see here by default. Clicking it displays us a cogwheel. With this, we can edit the element's settings. For us, the tabs Sorting and Filter are of import. In the Sorting tab, we can determine whether we want to show product sorting options for this product listing. We can also add custom sorting. Let's do that. This offers us a few new options. For one, we can pick the way our listing is sorted by default here with the default sorting option. We'll go with an alphabetical sorting. Down below, we got product sortings. This allows us to add or remove additional sorting options for our customers. For example, picking price ascending allows our customers to pick that as a sorting option in the product listing as well. Let's add price ascending as well for good measure. Clicking on an already enabled option removes it again. This is shown by the check mark right here. Now let's have a look at the filters tab. Right away we see the hint here that we require a filter element on our listing page to make use of these settings. We'll add that in a bit. We got the standard filters up here, like filter by manufacturer, rating, price, or free shipping. Below that, we can determine product properties we want to enable as filter options too. Note that properties which are marked as non-filterable will not show up here, of course. By default, if we do not edit anything here, all properties belonging to products in this listing are going to be filterable in the storefront. So this option is intended to remove options we do not want to be filters. Let's activate it so we can decide which properties we want to add as filters. The purpose of this is mostly to keep the amount of filters limited in order to avoid offering so many options that the listing becomes a cluttered mess. This would be the case if our products came with a lot of different properties. It's a reasonable assumption that if we offer 200 properties to filter by, our customer is not going to use any of it. In our example, let's say color and material are the most sensible options to filter by and add these. Now, as the hint up here says, we got to do one more step to make use of these filters. We'll need an element in our listing page that shows the filters we set up to begin with. Let's first confirm our settings so far with a click on Done and get on with adding the filter block. We'll add a new block with the plus button right here and select Sidebar. Here we see the product filter block by default. Let's add that via drag and drop on top of our listing block. We should also assign the layout to a category or page in our shop with the button down here and then assign layout. We'll assign this to our category clothing. That looks promising, so let's apply these settings and confirm that we want to override the current layout the category has. Finally, we hit save and have a look at the results in our storefront. We can see that the listing is initially sorted alphabetically just like we wanted. We also got the other sorting options we set up available in the drop-down menu here. Quite literally on top of it, we find the filters we configured as well. Sadly, due to a current bug, it doesn't strictly obey our settings completely and displays all properties as filters instead. I also want to show you the general settings regarding the sorting options, so let's switch back to the admin panel. We can find these in Settings, Shop, Products. Scrolling down a bit, we see Default Sorting. This allows us to set a default sorting method for everything we have not set up to be different in a specific layout like we did initially. A bit further down, we see the sorting options. The order in which these are organized in the drop-down menu is dependent on a score we set here. Meaning that, in this case, Name A to Z is the top option with a priority of 4, followed by Name Z to A with a priority of 3, and so forth. 
We can edit the properties in the menu here or simply by double clicking on the value itself. If we're not satisfied with the default sorting options, we can also add new ones by clicking here, Add Option. This opens up a new menu where we can add a name, decide whether or not we want that sorting to be active, and finally the sorting criteria. We'll go with Product Rating, give it a score of 5, and finally save it. The last option I want to show you is Disable Filter Options without results. This setting determines that filters which have no results are going to be hidden. For example, in our Clothes category, if there is no option for the color red, that property would not be offered as a filter to begin with. And with that, we come to the end of this video.